Good evening, dear friends. Imagine, if you will, a tranquil forest bathed in the soft light of the moon, where the rustle of leaves and the murmur of a distant stream create a symphony of serenity. In this enchanted sanctuary, where time seems to stand still and the worries of the world fade into the night, will embark on a mesmerizing tale that will transport you to the heart of nature's wisdom. So, dear listener, as you settle into the comfort of your bed and let the warmth of relaxation envelop you, let us embark on a gentle voyage into the realm of the vulture's vigil. Close your eyes, breathe deeply, and allow the soothing tones of my voice to guide you into a state of blissful tranquility. For in the quietude of this nocturnal journey, you'll find refuge from the hustle and bustle of the day and discover the peace that comes with surrendering to the gentle rhythm of the night. Now, as the world outside falls into a hushed slumber, let us begin our enchanting tale and drift away on the gentle currents of sleep. Chapter 1 The Gathering Storm In a time not remembered by the calendars of men, in a forest deep and ancient, whispers traveled on the wind. It was a place where the trees spoke in creaks and groans, where the leaves rustled with the secrets of old. On this particular eve, as the sun dipped low, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, an unusual stir touched the heart of the forest. The creatures, both great and small, felt a change in the air, a tension like the calm before a storm. Among the towering oaks and whispering willows, a sense of anticipation settled. The rabbits paused in their evening forage. The deer lifted their heads in silent query. And even the owls, wise beyond years, peered intently from their perches. For in the fabric of the forest's endless tales, a new thread was about to be woven one that spoke of renewal and the circle of life. As night cloaked the forest, a figure descended upon the ancient oak at the very heart of this woodland realm. With wings as wide as the tales of old and eyes gleaming with the wisdom of ages, the vulture landed. He was a creature misunderstood by many, revered by some, and known to all. His arrival was the harbinger of a gathering that would be remembered through the ages. The vulture, with feathers as dark as the night, and a gaze piercing through the shadows, surveyed the assembly below. His presence commanded silence, a reverence born not out of fear, but from the recognition of his ancient wisdom. With a voice that resonated like the deep call of the earth, he spoke, his words carrying on the wind to every corner of the forest. Creatures of the forest come forth, gather beneath the ancient oak, 
for there are tales to be told, lessons to be learned, and wisdom to be shared. From the shadows of the underbrush, the corners of clearings, and the depths of the forest, they came. The foxes with their coats like fire, the squirrels with their nimble grace, and even the timid mice ventured forth. Larger creatures followed, bears with their lumbering might, wolves with their keen eyes, and deer with their elegant poise. They formed a circle, a congregation of diverse beings united by the call of the vulture. Beneath the ancient oak, a council of the forest's inhabitants took shape. Every creature, from the smallest ant to the sturdiest elk, found a place. The air was filled with an expectant hush, as if the very forest itself awaited the vulture's words. With the moon now rising, casting a silver glow upon the gathering, the vulture began. His voice, deep and resonant, wove into the night. We stand at the precipice of change, the eve of a storm that will test us all. But fear not the storm, for it brings with it the promise of renewal. Tonight, I share with you the first of three tales, a story of ashes and rebirth, of endings and beginnings. Listen well, for within this tale lies the essence of our existence. The animals listened, their hearts open, and minds ready to receive the wisdom of the vulture. The forest itself seemed to lean in, eager for the story that would unfold beneath the ancient oak. In the hush of the gathered night, under the watchful eye of the moon, the vulture began his tale. In the heart of a desert far beyond these woods, he started, his voice carrying the weight of unspoken ages. There lived a phoenix, this majestic bird with feathers as vibrant as the setting sun was unlike any creature, for it was both the end and the beginning of its own existence. The animals of the forest, from the rustling leaves of the trees to the soft moss underfoot, listened with rapt attention as the vulture spun the story of the phoenix. Every hundred years, he continued, the phoenix would build a nest of aromatic branches and spices. There, amidst the desert's unforgiving solitude, it would set itself aflame, only to emerge reborn from the ashes, a creature of breath taking beauty and renewed spirit. The tale wove through the night, a tapestry of loss and rebirth. The vulture spoke of the phoenix's acceptance of its fate, of its embrace of the cycle that saw it reduced to ashes only to rise again, more glorious than before. And so, the vulture concluded, the phoenix teaches us the beauty of renewal, the strength found in letting go, and the endless possibilities that come with new beginnings. A silence followed the end of the tale, as deep and profound as the story itself. The forest and its creatures absorbed the lesson 
of the phoenix, understanding at last the importance of endings in the grand tapestry of life. As the echoes of the phoenix's tail faded into the night, the forest's assembly remained in contemplative silence. The vulture, perched with dignified grace, watched as understanding flickered like firelight in the eyes of his audience. It is within the nature of all things to change, he spoke, his voice weaving through the gathered creatures like a gentle breeze. The phoenix embraces its end to find a new beginning, so too must we acknowledge our part in the cycles of the world. A bear, fur thick and eyes thoughtful, rose to speak. In the depth of winter, I slumber, leaving the forest behind. But with spring, I awaken, renewed. The cycle of seasons is my phoenix. A deer, graceful and poised, added, the shedding of my antlers marks an end, but from that end springs growth. New antlers, stronger and more majestic, rise in their place. In every ending, there is a beginning. The vulture nodded, his gaze encompassing the circle. Each of you, in your way, contributes to the cycle of life. The storm that approaches is but another turn in our endless dance. It may bring endings, but with those endings will come new beginnings. We must face it not with fear, but with the understanding that from it, we will emerge renewed. The animals of the forest, from the smallest mouse to the tallest giraffe, shared their stories and reflections. With each tale, the sense of unity and purpose grew stronger. They began to see the storm not as a harbinger of destruction, but as a necessary phase of renewal, an agent of change that would refresh the forest and all who dwelled within. As the assembly drew to a close, the creatures looked to the vulture with a new respect. His wisdom, once a mystery, now shone like a beacon in the night. They understood that the cycle of life with its ebb and flow, was a force of nature to be embraced, with hearts enlightened and spirits buoyed by the tales of renewal. The creatures of the forest prepared to return to their homes. The wind, now more insistent, whispered among the leaves a precursor to the storm that loomed on the horizon. The vulture, his message delivered, watched as the assembly dispersed, each creature carrying with them the lessons of the phoenix. As they moved through the darkened forest, a sense of calm pervaded, for they knew Whatever the storm brought, it would also bring the promise of new beginnings. The night deepened, and the first hints of a distant thunder murmured on the edge of the forest's consciousness. The storm was nearly upon them, but the forest faced it not with dread, but with anticipation ready to embrace the cycle of renewal, to rise from whatever ashes the storm might leave, stronger 
and more vibrant than before. This gathering under the ancient oak, convened by a vulture and attended by the forest's many inhabitants, would be remembered as a turning point. A moment when the forest stood united, ready to face the challenges ahead with wisdom, courage, and the assurance of renewal ingrained in the very essence of life itself. Chapter 2 The Eye of the Storm In the heart of the forest, as the tumult of the storm abated, an eerie silence unfolded beneath the cloak of night. It was the calm at the storm's core, a pause in the symphony of nature that spoke of suspended moments and held breaths. The creatures of the forest, nestled within their shelters, felt the stillness wrap around them, a blanket woven from the threads of anticipation and the remnants of fear. It was within this profound silence that the vulture, undisturbed by the tempest's rage or the quiet that followed, summoned the forest's inhabitants once more. His call, deep and resonant, cut through the stillness, reaching the farthest corners of the woodland realm. Come forth, creatures of the forest, he beckoned, his voice carrying the weight of wisdom and the promise of understanding. The eye of the storm is upon us, a time of reflection and calm before the winds rise once again. Gather beneath the ancient oak, for there is another tale to be told. A story that holds the secrets of resilience and the strength found in vulnerability. One by one, the animals emerged from their havens, drawn to the vulture's call. They moved through the forest, a whisper of paws and hooves on the damp earth, a rustle of feathers and fur in the quiet. The storm had changed the landscape, leaving its mark upon the earth and the canopy above. But the path to the ancient oak remained clear, a testament to the enduring strength of the forest. Beneath the sprawling branches of the oak, the creatures reassembled, a mosaic of life in the heart of the woodland. The vulture, perched with solemn dignity, surveyed the gathering, his eyes reflecting the moonlight that filtered through the clouds. The storm has shown its might, he began, his voice a soothing balm to the frayed edges of the night. But within its fury lies a lesson, a truth that speaks to the core of our existence. Listen well, for the tale I now share is one of resilience, of the willow that bends in the wind, but does not break. The forest's inhabitants settled into the hush the vulture's words, a beacon in the darkness, guiding them through the storm's eye. With the promise of dawn on the horizon, they prepared to receive the second tale, a story that would illuminate the strength found in yielding, in embracing the dance of the storm with grace and courage. 
as the vulture spoke, the air itself seemed to listen. The forest held in the embrace of a story that would unfold beneath the watchful gaze of the stars and the ancient oak, a tale that would remind them all of the enduring power of resilience in the face of the tempests of life. In the gentle embrace of the night, as the creatures of the forest gathered once more beneath the ancient oak, the vulture began to weave the second tale. In a meadow, where the river kisses the land, and the sky stretches wide, there stood a weeping willow. He intoned, his voice carrying the warmth of the sun and the depth of the earth. This willow, with its drooping branches and tender leaves, had witnessed the passing of seasons and the dance of time. The animals listened, their eyes reflecting the moon's glow, their hearts open to the tale of the willow. Year after year, the vulture continued. The willow faced the fury of storms. Winds howled around its form, rain lashed against its bark, and lightning danced perilously close. With each storm, the willow would lose branches, its leaves would be torn away, and its form would be bent and battered. A hush fell over the assembly, the tale mirroring the storm they themselves had weathered. But with each loss, the vulture's voice softened. The willow grew. Where branches had been torn, new ones sprouted, stronger and more resilient. Its roots delved deeper into the earth, drawing strength from the very heart of the land. The vulture paused, allowing the tail to settle like dew upon leaves. The willow did not resist the storm's might. It embraced it. With every bend, with every loss, it learned the beauty of letting go, of resilience. It understood that to stand firm is not to stand unyielding, but to dance with the wind. To move with grace through adversity, the creatures of the forest were transfixed, seeing in the willow story a reflection of their own experiences. So too must we, the vulture said, his gaze encompassing the circle. Learn to bend and not break. To see in our losses the opportunity for growth. For in letting go of what was, we make room for what will be. The tale of the weeping willow, with its sorrow and strength, its resilience and renewal, resonated deeply with the gathered assembly. It spoke to them of the cycles of life, of the necessity of storms, and of the beauty found in the aftermath. As the willow stands tall and proud, adorned with fresh leaves and new branches, so too can we emerge from the storms of life Stronger, wiser, and more beautiful for the trials we have faced, the vulture concluded. His voice a whisper on the wind, a promise of dawn's light on the horizon. The second tale, a testament to the power of resilience and the grace of acceptance, 
left a lasting impression on the hearts of all who heard it. In the eye of the storm, beneath the watchful gaze of the ancient oak, the creatures of the forest found solace and strength in the tale of the willow's weep, a story of growth through loss and the enduring beauty of letting go. As the tale of the weeping willow settled into the hearts of the forest's inhabitants, the vulture observed the gathered assembly with a gaze that pierced the veil of night. Each of us, he began, his voice a gentle call in the quiet, carries within us tales of storms weathered, of losses endured. It is in sharing these tales that we find strength, not in solitude, but in the unity of understanding. The moon, now a silent guardian above, cast its silver light upon the creatures, illuminating faces marked by the journey of life. I invite you, the vulture continued, to share your fears, your losses. Let this be a circle of trust, where the pain of one becomes the solace of many. A ripple of movement stirred among the animals as the vulture's invitation hung in the air like a leaf poised to fall. It was the rabbit, its fur soft in the moonlight, that first found the courage to speak. In the shadow of the hawk, I have lost many I loved, it said, its voice a mere whisper. Each day is a gamble of life and death. But in this circle, I find the courage to greet the dawn. One by one, the creatures of the forest shared their stories. The deer spoke of the loss of its kin to the hunters. The squirrel of the nest lost to the storm. And the owl of the solitude that wisdom often demands. Each tale, unique in its sorrow, wove a tapestry of shared experience, binding the assembly with threads of empathy and understanding. The vulture listened, his presence a comforting constant in the ebb and flow of emotions. In our vulnerability, he reflected, lies our greatest strength. To share one's fears, to bear one's soul, is the bravest act of all. You, creatures of the forest, in your courage, have created a sanctuary of compassion. The air, charged with the raw honesty of shared tales, felt warmer as if the very act of opening their hearts had kindled a fire within the circle. Let this bond, the vulture intoned, be a beacon through the darkest storms. May the understanding you've nurtured here tonight illuminate the path forward, not just for yourselves, but for all who walk the forest's shadowed ways. The call for understanding, as it would come to be known in the tales of the forest, marked a turning point. The creatures, once isolated by their individual struggles, now looked upon each other with new eyes. Eyes that saw not just another creature, but a fellow traveler on the journey of life, each with their burdens, each with their tales of storms weathered. As the assembly drew to a close, 
the creatures of the forest felt a renewed sense of connection. The barriers that had once divided them, predator from prey, winged from earthbound, had been softened by the power of shared vulnerability. They understood now that the strength of the forest lay not in the might of the oak or the depth of the river, but in the unity of its inhabitants, bound by the common threads of life, loss, and the enduring spirit of resilience. In the eye of the storm, beneath the ancient oak and the watchful stars, the vulture had guided them to a place of understanding and compassion, a sanctuary where the heart's whispers found voice and the soul's shadows were met with light. As the dawn's first light began to pierce the veil of night, the creatures of the forest, now bonded by shared tales and a newfound understanding, followed the vulture's silent beckoning. They moved as one, a procession woven from the many threads of the forest's fabric towards the melody of flowing water. The river, a ribbon of life winding through the heart of the forest, called to them with the promise of wisdom in its song. The vulture perched upon an ancient stone, worn smooth by the river's ceaseless dance. Behold, he gestured towards the water with a wing. The river, in its endless journey from mountain to sea, knows the art of resilience better than any. It teaches us the grace of adaptation, the strength found in yielding. The animals gathered at the river's edge, watching as the water danced around rocks, flowed over fallen branches, and swirled in eddies and pools. In its movement, they saw the tale of the willow echoed. The river, too, faced obstacles, yet it did not falter. It embraced each rock, each bend in its path, as part of its dance, moving forward with unwavering purpose and beauty. In the dance of the river, the vulture's voice rose over the sound of the water. We see the essence of life itself. The river does not resist the obstacles in its path. It flows around them, over them, sometimes even through them. It understands that the journey is not about the avoidance of challenges, but about the embrace of them. The creatures watched in silence, mesmerized by the river's effortless grace. They saw in its clear depths a mirror of their own lives, reflecting the myriad challenges they faced, the obstacles they had overcome, and those they had yet to encounter. The river, the vulture continued, does not hold on to the water that passes through it. It lets go, allowing each drop to journey onwards to nourish the land, to join the vastness of the ocean. In this letting go, there is a profound strength, for it is in releasing what we cannot hold that we truly embrace the flow of life. Inspired by the river's tale, the creatures began to see their own paths 
in a new light. They understood that like the water, they too were on a journey, one that required adaptability, resilience, and the courage to let go. They saw the obstacles in their lives not as barriers to their progress, but as opportunities to grow, to learn, and to become part of the greater dance of existence. As the sun rose higher, casting golden light upon the forest, the river's song lingered in the air, a hymn to the beauty of adaptation and the strength found in the embrace of life's challenges. The creatures, hearts lightened by the wisdom of the river, turned their faces to the new day, ready to dance their own dances, to flow with grace around the rocks in their paths, and to embrace the journey ahead with open hearts and resilient spirits. The dance of the river, as it would be remembered, became a symbol of hope and resilience for the forest's inhabitants. In the river's ceaseless flow, they found a guide for their own lives, a reminder that, in the embrace of obstacles, in the graceful dance of adaptation lay the true strength of the forest and all who dwelled within. As the golden hues of dawn painted the sky, the forest's inhabitants gathered once more in the clearing by the river, their hearts full from the lessons of the willow and the river's dance. The vulture, with the wisdom of ages reflected in his gaze, prepared to share another piece of wisdom, one that would bind the lessons of the night and the dawning day into a tablet of understanding and harmony. Creatures of the forest, he began, his voice a gentle yet commanding presence in the quiet of the morning. You have learned of resilience from the willow, of adaptation from the river. Now, let us speak of acceptance, the most delicate yet powerful strand in the web of life. The animals, their spirits awakened by the vulture's words, listened intently, sensing the unfolding of a truth yet grasped. To live is to face challenges, the vulture continued, to encounter storms both external and within. Yet, it is in the embrace of our vulnerabilities, in the acceptance of our fears and flaws, that we find true strength. A hush fell over the assembly as each creature reflected on their own vulnerabilities, the fears that fluttered like shadows in their hearts, the flaws they struggled to hide beneath fur, feather, and leaf. To accept oneself, the vulture's voice resonated with the depth of the earth is to acknowledge that we are all part of this forest, each with our role, our strengths, and our weaknesses. It is in this acceptance that we find the roots of inner strength and the seeds of communal harmony. The creatures looked around the circle seeing each other not as competitors or threats, but as fellow travelers on the journey of life. 
each with their own vulnerabilities, each with their own beauty. When we accept ourselves, the vulture said, we open our hearts to accept others. We learn that every creature, from the smallest ant to the tallest giraffe, plays a vital role in the tapestry of the forest. We see that our vulnerabilities are not weaknesses, but bridges of understanding that connect us, heart to heart. The air around them seemed to shimmer with the truth of the vulture's words. Acceptance, they realized, was not a surrender, but a powerful act of courage, a step towards unity and peace within the forest. It was the realization that in their shared vulnerabilities, lay the foundation for a deeper connection, a communal strength that could weather any storm as the sun rose higher, casting its light upon the clearing. The animals felt a transformation within. They saw in each other's eyes a reflection of their own acceptance, a shared understanding that transcended words. In that moment, the forest was united not just by the physical space they shared, but by the bonds of acceptance, compassion, and mutual respect. The embrace of acceptance, as it would come to be known, marked a turning point for the forest's inhabitants. They learned that to embrace their vulnerabilities was to embrace life itself with all its imperfections and beauty. They understood that acceptance was the key to unlocking inner strength and fostering communal harmony a lesson that would guide them through the storms to come and in the calm that followed. The vulture, his message imparted, watched as the creatures dispersed, each carrying with them the seeds of acceptance to sow within their hearts and throughout the forest. In the light of the new day, the forest stood not just as a collection of individuals, but as a community bound by the shared embrace of acceptance, stronger and more harmonious than ever before. As the day wore on, the forest felt the impending return of the storm. Dark clouds gathered on the horizon painting the sky in shades of gray and black, while the wind began to whisper warnings through the trees. The animals, now bonded by tales of resilience, adaptation, and acceptance, felt a stirring within. They were no longer the scattered creatures of the forest, but a unified assembly fortified by the insights shared beneath the ancient oak and by the riverside. The vulture, ever the guardian of wisdom, watched as the forest braced itself. The storm returns, he announced, his voice carrying the weight of inevitability. But remember, Creatures of the forest, you are not the same who faced its fury before. You have learned the lessons of the willow, the river, and the embrace of acceptance. Let these teachings be your shelter, your strength in the face of the storm's rage. A 
as the first bolts of lightning cleaved the sky, illuminating the gathering clouds, the creatures of the forest took refuge, but their spirits were unbroken, their hearts unafraid. In burrows and nests, beneath canopies, and within the crevices of ancient trees, they remembered the vulture's words. They recalled the resilience of the willow, bending but not breaking. The rivers dance around obstacles, and the strength found in accepting themselves and each other. The storm unleashed its full fury upon the forest, a symphony of wind, rain, and thunder that shook the very foundations of the earth. Trees swayed and groaned under the onslaught. Rivers swelled beyond their banks, and the night was alive with the power of the tempest. Yet, within the heart of the storm, there was a sense of unity among the forest's inhabitants. They had faced the storm's prelude together, shared their vulnerabilities, and found strength in their collective wisdom. Now, as the storm raged around them, they held on to the belief that they would emerge stronger that the forest would thrive anew in the aftermath. The vulture, his silhouette stark against the backdrop of the storm, remained a steadfast presence. He was the keeper of the stories, the voice of wisdom that had guided them through the darkness and into the light of understanding. As the storm raged, he too sought shelter, but his spirit was with the creatures of the forest, a beacon of hope in the tempest's heart. When at last the storm's rage abated and the first light of dawn broke through the retreating clouds, the forest awoke to a world transformed. The air was fresh, cleansed by the rain, and the earth was vibrant with the promise of renewal. The creatures emerged from their shelters, gazing upon a landscape reshaped by the storm's fury, but standing resilient, a testament to the lessons of the willow, the river, and the embrace of acceptance. The storm's rage had tested them, but in its wake, they found a deeper connection to the forest and to each other. They understood now that the storms they faced, both from the sky and within their hearts, were not just challenges to endure, but opportunities to grow, to unite, and to emerge stronger. As the chapter of the eye of the storm closed, the forest and its inhabitants stood on the threshold of a new beginning. Fortified by their newfound insights and unity, they were ready to face whatever the future held secure in the knowledge that together they could weather any storm. Chapter 3 The Calm After As the storm's echoes faded into the silence of a world reborn, the first light of dawn caressed the forest unveiling a landscape transformed. The air, crisp and laden with the scent of renewal, 
whispered of new beginnings. Water droplets, like jewels, adorned the leaves, reflecting the burgeoning light, and the earth, enriched by the storm's tears, pulsed with life. In this moment of awakening, the vulture, sentinel of wisdom and guardian of the forest's tales, issued a call for a final gathering. His voice, resonant and imbued with the promise of the dawn, reached the farthest corners of the forest, inviting its inhabitants to convene amidst the rejuvenated landscape. The creatures, stirred by the call, emerged from their sanctuaries, their eyes wide with wonder at the beauty wrought by the storm's passage. They moved through a world awash in the golden light of dawn, a world that bore the scars of the night's fury, yet stood more vibrant and alive than ever before. Beneath the ancient oak, now a symbol of resilience and renewal, the forest's inhabitants assembled, forming a circle that encompassed the diversity of the woodland realm. The vulture, perched upon a branch that bore the fresh buds of new growth, surveyed the gathering with eyes that gleamed with the reflection of the new day. Creatures of the forest, he began, his voice a thread of silver in the golden tapestry of dawn. You have weathered the storm together, shared your fears and vulnerabilities, and found strength in unity and acceptance. The forest stands transformed, not just by the storm's hand, but by the journey you have undertaken together. The animals, their fur and feathers touched by the light, listened with rapt attention. Their hearts opened to the final wisdom the vulture would impart. This new dawn marks not an end, but a beginning, he continued. The lessons of the willow, the river, and the embrace of acceptance have prepared you for the path ahead. The forest thrives, a testament to the cycle of life, to the perpetual dance of destruction and creation, of endings and new beginnings. The vulture's gaze swept across the assembly, encompassing each creature in a silent benediction. Today, you stand at the threshold of a new era for the forest and for yourselves. United by the trials you have faced, you are poised to embark on a journey of growth, of exploration, and of continued transformation. The new dawn breaking over the forest bathed the world in a light that seemed to promise endless possibilities. The storm had passed, leaving behind a landscape that bore the imprints of its fury, yet resonated with a profound sense of renewal and hope. As the vulture concluded his address, the creatures of the forest looked around at the world reborn, at the faces of their companions, now friends, and at the ancient oak, standing tall and proud. They felt a deep connection to the earth beneath their feet, to the air filled with the song of birds and the gentle rustle of leaves 
and to each other. The calm after, as it would come to be remembered, was not just the aftermath of the storm, but the dawn of a new chapter in the life of the forest and its inhabitants. Fortified by the wisdom of the vulture and the lessons learned through adversity, they were ready to face the future, united in purpose and bound by the deep, indelible ties of shared experience and mutual respect. In the golden light of the new dawn, the forest stood not just as a collection of trees, creatures, and streams, but as a community. A family woven from the many threads of life's tapestry, ready to embark on the journey ahead with courage, wisdom, and the promise of endless renewal. In the glow of the new dawn, as the creatures of the forest settled beneath the ancient oak, the vulture prepared to share the final tale. A story that would encapsulate the essence of their journey and the timeless wisdom of nature. Beyond the borders of our forest, he began, his voice carrying the deep resonance of the earth stands a mountain. It rises tall and majestic, touching the sky with its snow-capped peak. This mountain has stood for ages, a silent witness to the passage of time, enduring through storms, fires, and the relentless march of the seasons. The animals listened captivated by the image of the mountain, its might and permanence a stark contrast to their own transient existence. The mountain, the vulture continued, is a testament to the endurance of nature, to its unyielding strength and timeless cycle. It has seen civilizations rise and fall, Rivers change their course, and forests wax and wane. A sense of awe filled the clearing as the vulture painted a picture of the mountain's eternal vigil. But the mountain's true might, he said, lies not in its unassailable presence, nor in its stoic endurance. It lies in its understanding of the interconnectedness of all things, of the intricate dance of life that unfolds at its feet. The creatures of the forest, from the smallest ant to the grandest deer, felt a connection to this distant mountain, a symbol of nature's enduring strength and the cycle of life that embraced them all. The mountain knows, the vulture's voice softened, that its might is but a part of a greater whole. It provides shelter to the creatures that dwell in its shadows, nourishment to the forests that cloak its slopes, and sustenance to the rivers that spring from its heart. In its wisdom, the vulture said, the mountain understands the small but significant place of every creature within the vast tapestry of life. Each plant, each animal, each drop of water plays a role in the enduring cycle of existence. The tale of the mountain's might, with its enduring presence and deep understanding of the interconnectedness of all life, 
resonated with the assembled creatures. They saw themselves in the story, a part of something vast and timeless, each playing a role in the cycle of life, significant and cherished. The mountain stands mightily, the vulture concluded, not because it towers over the land, but because it serves as a foundation, a pillar of strength and wisdom upon which the cycle of life turns. So too do each of you stand mightily, for in your unity, in your acceptance of one another, and your roles within this forest, you embody the enduring strength of the mountain. As the tale came to a close, the creatures of the forest felt a profound sense of belonging and purpose. They understood that, like the mountain, their strength lay in their unity, in their shared journey through the storms and the calm that followed, and in their place within the timeless cycle of nature. The third tale, the mountain's might became a beacon of wisdom for the forest's inhabitants, a reminder of their enduring connection to the earth and to each other. In the light of the new dawn, they saw their world anew, not as separate beings struggling for survival, but as part of a grand, interconnected dance of life, each with a vital role to play in the enduring might of nature. In the warmth of the rising sun, the forest's inhabitants reflected on the vulture's tale of the mountain's might. The story, a profound echo of endurance and interconnectedness, inspired a moment of collective epiphany among the gathered creatures. They looked around at their companions, seeing not just fellow inhabitants of the forest, but integral parts of a greater whole, each essential to the circle of life. The mountain, mused a wise old owl from the boughs of the oak, stands not alone, but as a testament to the unity of all things. So too do we stand together, woven into the fabric of the forest, each thread vital to the strength and beauty of the tapestry. Nods of agreement rippled through the assembly as the creatures contemplated their own roles within the cycle of life. The deer recognized its place in nurturing the growth of the forest, its grazing shaping the landscape. The bees, buzzing softly amongst the flowers, understood their role in pollination, a vital act that ensured the continuation of life. A young fox, its coat gleaming in the sunlight, spoke up. In our diversity lies our strength. Just as the mountain provides, so too do we each contribute. Our strengths and weaknesses combining to form a balance, a harmony within the forest. The vulture, observing the unfolding insights, felt a surge of pride for the creatures before him. You see now, he said, that each of you holds a piece of the forest's heart. In embracing both your strengths and your weaknesses, 
you embrace the very essence of life itself. For it is in our vulnerabilities that we find the courage to grow. And in our strengths, we find the grace to support one another. The summit of insight, as this moment came to be known, marked a turning point for the forest and its inhabitants. They saw that their individual contributions, whether as guardians, nurturers, or creators, were threads in the intricate web of life. They understood that in accepting themselves in all their complexity, they strengthened the whole. A sense of unity deeper than any they had known before enveloped the gathering. The creatures of the forest, from the tiniest insect to the grandest tree, felt an unspoken vow form between them, a pledge to honor their roles in the circle of life, to support each other's growth, and to celebrate the diversity that enriched their shared home. As the sun climbed higher, Casting its light upon a world renewed, the forest thrummed with a new energy. The storm had passed, leaving in its wake a landscape transformed not just by the forces of nature, but by the insights and revelations of its inhabitants. The summit of insight, a beacon of understanding and acceptance, heralded a new era for the forest. In the calm after the storm, the creatures moved forward, inspired by the mountain's might and their own newfound wisdom. They embraced their roles with renewed vigor, each playing their part in the ongoing dance of life. Their hearts and actions aligned with the enduring cycles of the natural world. As the assembly basked in the revelations of their shared epiphanies, the vulture took to the air, his wings casting broad shadows upon the earth, circling above the gathered creatures. He began to weave the final strand of wisdom into the fabric of their understanding, illustrating the unbreakable circle of life that bound them all. Behold, he called from above, his voice carrying the authority of the ages, the tales of the willow, the river, and the mountain. Each in its essence speaks of resilience, adaptation, and the understanding that we are all part of a greater whole. The creatures looked up, their faces lifted to the sky as the vulture continued. The willow, with its graceful acceptance of loss and renewal, teaches us the strength found in flexibility. The river, in its ceaseless journey around, over, and through obstacles, shows us the beauty of embracing the path before us. And the mountain, enduring through eons, reminds us of our place within the vast tapestry of life, significant and interconnected. The vulture descended, landing once more upon the ancient oak. His presence, a focal point for the wisdom shared. These tales, he intoned, are not separate stories, but threads in the single, un 
unending story of life itself. They remind us that life is a cycle, a series of beginnings and endings that weave into the perpetual motion of existence. The forest's inhabitants, their hearts open and minds enlightened, understood the vulture's words. They saw their own lives reflected in the tales. A vital part of the cycle, essential to the balance and beauty of life. A profound sense of unity enveloped the gathering. A realization that they were not merely inhabitants of the forest, but active participants in the dance of life. The boundaries that had once seemed to divide them, predator and prey, winged and earthbound, tree and creature, dissolved in the light of this understanding. They were all connected, each a thread in the intricate web that was life, bound by the circle unbroken. As the seasons change, the vulture concluded, as the cycle of life unfolds in all its myriad forms, remember the lessons of the willow, the river, and the mountain. Embrace your place in the circle, for in doing so, you honor the unending story of life itself. The circle, unbroken, a concept as ancient as the forest and as timeless as the mountain, became a guiding principle for the forest's inhabitants. In the days that followed, they lived with a renewed sense of purpose and interconnectedness. Their actions and lives a testament to the cycle of life that moved through them and around them. A cycle that, in its perpetual motion, held them all within its embrace. As the gathering beneath the ancient oak drew to a close, the creatures of the forest stood together, a community united by the journey they had shared and the wisdom they had gleaned. The vulture, who had guided them through the storm and into the light of understanding, prepared to impart his final words of wisdom with a solemn grace he addressed the assembly, his voice resonant with the depth of the lessons they had learned together. Creatures of the forest, he began, his gaze sweeping over the faces before him. You have journeyed through the storm, both literal and metaphorical, and emerged transformed. You have learned the lessons of renewal from the phoenix's ashes, of resilience from the willow and the river, of strength in unity from the mountain's might, and of the eternal cycle of life that binds us all. The forest was still, every creature attentive, as the vulture continued. But the journey does not end here, beneath this oak, in the light of this new dawn. The lessons you have learned are seeds that have been planted within your hearts. It is now up to you to carry these lessons forward, to let them grow and flourish in your lives and in the life of the forest. He paused, allowing his words to settle like leaves upon the forest floor. Renewal 
resilience, acceptance, unity. These are not just concepts to be pondered in moments of quiet. They are principles to live by, guiding lights that can illuminate the darkest paths and strengthen the bonds that tie us to each other and to the earth. A gentle breeze stirred, as if the forest itself was acknowledging the truth of the vulture's words. As you go forth from this gathering, he said, carry with you the spirit of renewal. Let it remind you that from every ending springs a new beginning, that growth and change are the very essence of life. Embrace resilience, he urged, like the willow in the river. Bend but do not break in the face of challenges. Flow around obstacles, knowing that each twist and turn in your path is an opportunity for growth. Remember the mountain, the vulture added, his voice imbued with a quiet strength. Let its might inspire you to find strength in your own place within the circle of life. To understand the significance of each creature, each life, in the intricate web of existence. And above all, he concluded, cherish the unity you have found here in the calm after the storm. Support one another, celebrate your diversity, and recognize that it is in coming together, in accepting each other, and working as one, that the forest, and indeed the world, truly thrives. The vulture spread his wings, a symbol of the journey on which they had all embarked and the endless possibilities that lay ahead. Go forth, creatures of the forest, with these lessons etched upon your hearts. Let them guide you, let them inspire you, and let them remind you of the beauty and strength found in the unity of all life. As the vulture took to the sky, his parting wisdom a beacon of hope and a call to action. The creatures of the forest felt a renewed sense of purpose. They knew that the path ahead would be filled with challenges. But armed with the lessons of renewal, resilience, acceptance, and unity, they were ready to face whatever the future held, together, as guardians of the forest and of each other. The gathering may have ended, but the journey they were on was just beginning. A journey of growth, understanding, and unbreakable bonds, guided by the wisdom of the vulture and the timeless cycle of life. As the vulture soared into the azure expanse above, the creatures of the forest watched him go, a silhouette against the canvas of the sky, a guardian whose vigil had nurtured their growth and unity. His departure marked not an end, but a continuation of the journey they had embarked upon together a journey towards renewal, understanding, and harmony. In the days that followed, the forest thrived as never before. The lessons of the gathering beneath the ancient oak, of the tales shared and wisdom imparted, took root in the hearts of 
all who dwelled within the forest's embrace. The creatures lived out the teachings of renewal, resilience, acceptance, and unity, weaving these principles into the fabric of their daily lives. The trees grew taller and stronger, their branches reaching towards the sky in a testament to the forest's vitality. The rivers flowed clear and pure, the waters singing songs of renewal as they nourished the land. Flowers bloomed in vibrant colors, painting the forest floor in hues of hope and joy, while the animals moved with a new sense of purpose, their interactions marked by mutual respect and understanding. Predator and prey found a balance. Guided by the wisdom of the mountain's might and the interconnectedness of all life. The smaller creatures, once overlooked, were recognized for their essential roles in the tapestry of the forest. Their contributions celebrated as part of the greater whole. In this renewed forest, every sunrise brought with it the promise of new beginnings, and every sunset reflected the beauty of endings that were not truly endings, but part of the endless cycle of life. The storms that came, though they still brought challenges, were met with resilience and a shared strength that stemmed from the unity fostered among the forest's inhabitants. The vulture's legacy, a gift of wisdom and insight, lived on in the heart of the forest. His tales of the willow, the river, and the mountain became part of the lore of the land. Stories passed down through generations, reminding all of the lessons learned and the growth achieved. As the seasons changed, marking the passage of time in the endless dance of life, the forest stood as a beacon of harmony and renewal. The creatures, once divided by fear and misunderstanding, now lived as guardians of each other and of the forest they called home. They understood that the strength of the forest lay not in the might of its trees or the depth of its rivers, but in the unity of its inhabitants, in the shared commitment to nurture and protect the delicate balance of life. And so, the story of the forest's renewal of a community united by the wisdom of a vulture and the transformative power of a storm became a legend of hope, a tale of a forest reborn. It was a testament to the enduring cycle of life, to the resilience of nature, and to the profound impact of understanding, acceptance, and unity. In the calm after the storm, the forest flourished, a living mosaic of life in all its diversity and beauty, a reminder of the endless possibilities that arise from the embrace of change, the courage to grow, and the strength found in coming together. The vulture's vigil was complete but the journey of the forest and its inhabitants was just beginning. An eternal cycle of renewal and harmony 
guided by the legacy of wisdom and a spirit of unity that would endure through the ages. <laughs>